हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अगेन सो वेलकम बैक टू अ न्यू प्लेलिस्ट कॉल्ड क्लिक व्यू सो व्हाट बेसिकली क्लिक व्यू इज क्लिक व्यू इज नथिंग बट अ पीआई सॉफ्टवेयर सो पीआई आई मीन्स लाइक बिजनेस इंटेलिजेंस सो हाउ वी हैव टैब्ल्यू हाउ वी हैव पावर बीआई सो क्लिक व्यू सो क्लिक इज द पेरेंट कंपनी इन विच वी हैव समथिंग कॉल क्लिक व्यू एंड क्लिक सेंस एंड क्लिक व्यू इज द ओल्डर वन एंड we can't say that click view is replaced by click sense but all together both are different but both work independently and the parent company is click so yeah and if you want to start uh, with this tutorial just go and download just i will put this link in the description just go if you want to read the license read it press yes and download it so before this you have to log in into so when you open this page might be you will get a pop up to log in so just use your personal email id and you will get download your click view personal edition so yeah so you can do that so before directly jumping into that app thing like how the interface is let's see the basic thing about like what's the difference between power bi tableau and click sense so that so click sense and click view is sort of same because of the parent company but the like ui is say, uh, different as i said you right that uh, click view is the older version and click sense is the newer version of the click so if you compare power bi tableau and click sense also like they have a is easy to use platform and click provide a very good support also from their side so whatever problem do you guys have you can directly search on the google and they have a best community in the uh, click so whatever the doubt you have you get everything there like almost all your doubts will be cleared there so you can compare like you can search it what's the difference between click view click sense so the uh, one thing as as much i can remember is the click view is like the older one so it's the first mover advantage also so the company have like from that time they have started it and till now they have this click sense and it's mostly like business side of thing so it provide more control over the data it provide the compression technique uh, that's we will gonna know about like what's Q qvd so what uh, qvw so uh, both of like all of this are like possible in click view all together in click sense too so in power bi and tableau are like much recent one so and they have own server also so as as you can see this thing so the power bi is compatible with microsoft azure and click sense is like provide the saas cloud product so yeah you can you can read this article too so you can get more clarity so just to be clear with the click view architecture so what basically architecture means here the top one is the front end this one is the back end and uh, this is the infrastructure resources so what was the mean of this infrastructure resources is how the data is stored from where the data get captured so yeah so in the back end what we use this personal the click view desktop as you are seeing so this is nothing but if you this is the desktop version that i was telling about so only drawback here is to if you want to use this personal desktop as some like your dashboard to publish you need a global license for it so you need to have that license uh, just you have to pay for it you if your org has this thing the org will pay for that so you don't have to worry about it so if you get the click view desktop what you do is like you create the click view qvw and uh, qvd file structure so it's nothing uh, totally difference the only difference between qvd and qvw is qvd is the click view data so what it does is what if you have 50 gb of data 100 gb of data it compresses the data into a small format that we call as qvd and qvw consist of all the modeling dashboarding that you do so that's the dot qvd format what you do is then you go to this publisher and this publisher will push that your dashboard into server and that server will contain this qvw format that it will interact with your qvw format whatever reload will happen here it will reflect in the server and you can your client will able to see what are the changes there and in the back end what the story it can use the sap data sources or oracle sources it can use flat files like excel file uh, databases and all those things so yeah sql databases so you can use all the sources also so yeah that's all about the architecture so i guess uh, i have un like make you understand about the basic architecture of click view so in the next video we will see 
what uh, uh, how to install this or uh, okay but I have already installed it so I'm not going to install it again but I can show you the procedure how to do it and uh, after you do it you can just come with me and like I will walk you through with the basic interface and the basic uh, data sets already present so it will be fun so yeah see you in the next video thank you and have a nice day bye